We now have the capability to duplicate component using coordinate systems. And those coordinate systems can be in the current assembly, in a subassembly, or in a part or sheet metal file. Now, how this works is we'll go to the duplicate uh, component. And we're going to select, in this case, select uh, the uh, module assembly. And we'll accept that. And then with the from, uh, because I placed the assembly foot on that coordinate system, I'll go ahead and select that coordinate system as my from. Uh, now, the uh, duplicate all matching occurrences option does not work with coordinate systems. So then at that point, what you can do is you can select the coordinate systems. And depending on their orientation, uh, uh, it's going to duplicate that component. Uh, another thing that we can do is if I turn on uh, this uh, coordinate system component, I just created a block out there. If the coordinate system for this particular part is not turned on, uh, it doesn't have to be, but I can also select a part. And what it will do is it will use a coordinate system from that actual component itself to place this assembly. And so with that, I can right click and accept it. Now, there is a sketch in this case that's driving uh, these, uh, uh, you know, this um, pattern. And so what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and get out of this command. And we will select this sketch. And we will just edit it. And let's just change it just to show you that it is all associative. And you'll see that the, uh, you know, it's going to stay right with that coordinate system. Now, equally, if I make a change to the location of this block, let's say I move it up 500 millimeters, uh, it's going to, the duplicate component is going to stay with the coordinate system uh, for that particular component that we selected. So duplicate component using coordinate systems uh, is something new that we've added in ST9. Hopefully you will enjoy this capability.